Hey everybody, welcome back to Do With Dan. That's me, I'm, I'm Dan, I'm Mr. Do It. People call me Dan and I go by Do It With Dan because you're doing it with me and what are you doing? Uh, what are we, what, what are you doing it with Dan? What, Dan's, why are we doing it? I'll tell you what Dan's doing and doing it with Dan is why we're doing it. All right, so last place we left off, I built these frame rails, which are really cool, and I bought the, I built these little connecting tubes, which are also really cool. Uh, you guys should go check that out if you haven't watched that video. I also built this tube and this cross member and part of these frame rails. Everything's looking pretty freaking swell arena, right? So my next goal is to finish the frame rails, right? That we started yesterday or the day before or last video. Last video. Let's go with last video because it's been like a month. Because I've been working on this for a couple weeks now. Uh, build off my frame rails. Continue to go here for my axle support. So just gonna build off of here. Whoa there. I got ahead of myself. You guys know I usually do ads in these videos. And I didn't take my time to consider that. Now before we continue any further, today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Now if you're like me, you know, short and insecure. Oh, and balding. Probably balding, right? But you know, that's just statistics, right? Every two and three men will experience male pattern baldness in some time of their life. Just how it is, you know? I think a lot of people worry about people making fun of them. It's like, no, it's a problem. We have solutions. Let's fix it, right? That's because Keeps is up to 90% effective at reducing and stopping hair loss. And it's way easier because Keeps has kind of revolutionized the way that men are treated for hair loss, you know? Because they carry proven both over the counter and prescription treatments. You can visit a doctor online and get the stuff shipped directly to your door. It's super simple and no embarrassing waiting lines or going to the doctor and making it weird, you know? It's really convenient. Not to mention the fact that nobody really wants to go anywhere anyway right now. But this is one of those things where I don't want you to take my word for it. I've had a lot of people tell me that they've had great results with it, including my roommate. When you check it out, you'll understand why it has more five-star reviews than any of its other competitors, and why a ton of men trust Keeps to keep their hair. Bazinga. But again, I want to say thank you to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Really appreciate it. Helps keep the channel alive. We're gonna continue doing awesome stuff. We're gonna get back to the video. Thank you guys. Just gonna build off of here and go straight back and avoid the bend like these OEM ones do, which means the rails will kind of come in right about here instead of the factory rails, which kind of go right here. They bow outwards. So I'd like to run these rails straight back and then basically do what they've done here, except kind of closer in the middle. I don't know if I'll be able to reuse this piece, but it'll, it'll be okay to uh, kind of jig everything up in that way. If I do order a new one or if I build another one of these, that it should just mount right back up. These bumper supports where the bumpers mount to the frame, these will have to move in probably about about six or seven inches here because the frame rails will come back straight. Since I'll be doing some more cutting today, I finally went out and just said screw it and bought some carbide blades um, for my sawzall because I'm going to have to be doing way more cutting. Honestly, my, my sawzall has dealt with a lot of bullshit. I mean, this thing's just been a worn slap out since I got it. Matter of fact, both of them are. I have two of these and they're both just beat to shit. You know, I've never been a huge Dewalt fan. But I gotta say, man, most of the stuff that I have from them just keeps on, just keeps on fucking going. And I'm also just gonna be replacing my cutting wheel. This is this thing's taking way too long to cut. I've been using a lot of Diablo's cutting wheels and stuff like that. I, I run through these pretty quick, but man, do they fucking work great. I mean, if you do this way more than I do, which I'm just starting to get into it, so obviously, uh, then you know you probably go through them faster than that. But you know what I mean. Fresh cut and we should be cutting through those beams real fast. But now, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to do a, I'm going to cut away the last little bit of this, this skin here, for exposing my frame rails. I do have frame rails right here, and I want to cut them out completely. But I'm not certain how much weight and how much structure there is on this rear bumper right now. I don't know if these just being in the back of the rails is enough to keep it afloat in the back, but I don't want to risk it. I don't, I don't want to risk this whole car crumpling in on itself. Yeah, anyway, we'll see it. I'm going to cut. Let's do this. shit cut out of the way and those rails should be able to come in here no problem without having any alignment issues That's it. 
That's our, uh, that's our level. That, that was our level. So we got our, uh, our rear frame rail leveled out the way I'm going to. And uh, it doesn't matter. See, it's maybe like quarter of an inch shorter from here to here. Than it is. Like I want it to be level, obviously. Uh, but the angle is going to be the same regardless. So I'm just going to make a really nice cut line. That way I know that this side is the uh, side to keep. So yeah, I'll uh, cut this one out. Then I'll make a copy of this and do it on the, on the other side. Uh, make sure they're nice and square in between, tack them all in place, and then boom, boom, boom. Mate, we've got the. I'm not gonna do that. Never mind. Sorry, sorry, overseas viewers. I won't. I won't do that again. Bring a shovel, did ya? Oh, you gonna break out of him, big muscle man, big monkey man? Name that movie. It's about cars. It's got The Rock in it. It's got Jason Statham in it, and it rhymes with bobs and flaws. Speaking of which, Dwayne, if uh, if you see this, Mr. Rock, uh, I actually live really close to you, believe it or not. And I'm not saying that I live in a big ass mansion because I don't, but I live in your area. If you ever want to meet up for a YouTube video, you know I think it probably fit my schedule, Mr. Big Guy. Actually, uh, since I can't use my lift too much, it'd be really helpful if uh, uh, Mr. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, if you come in here and pick this car up for a little bit, you know, we could we could really make some cool vehicles. I know you like those Fast and Furious movies, so that be would that be ridiculous? As <laughs> that'd be so ridiculous, right? So yeah. Anyway, uh, currently the frame rails come through here, and then this is tube support that comes out here and holds the bumper in place. I'm actually gonna finish trimming away this last little bit of metal here, right along here. Basically, just cut the whole thing out. Get my sheet metal if I can even pick that some bitch up by myself. Then uh, then basically then cut out a matching piece to weld it in place here to pull the bumper off. Then I'll drill the uh, the hole that leads into here. Then I actually have some uh, tubing here. This is the same tubing that I used to build my motorcycle hardtails and frames and such like that. This is, I think this is one and a quarter inch diameter tubing. And then this is the, the diameter tubing that I've been using for the, uh, the whole roll cage and stuff. So just to give you an idea of the, the difference in diameter. You know. I have no idea why, but all of a sudden I can't stop thinking about your mom. So I'll just use that tube because that'll fit perfectly in that square. So yeah, got to cut out this little piece of metal now. I just know how much you guys like watching me cut stuff.
get this piece uh, pretty much welded in place. I haven't done the sides yet because I will be replacing it, so uh, I'm not going to bother doing the sides full fuck right now. But I got this piece kind of like half booger welded in here. I was really struggling to figure out the settings, but I did get the, uh, some, this metal is like 18 gauge or 19 gauge or something like this, super thin, and then this is 16 gauge, which is already super thin as it is, but finally got my wel welder settings in, and uh, I did grind this a little bit to make it look less like shit. Still learning. All right, give me a break. So now I got to make basically a hole in here somewhere where the uh, tube can go through. I'm going to have a piece of tube go through and then I'm going to have a piece of uh, steel kind of like capped off here. Although I guess I should have, I should have capped it before I did that, but I, I can weld it from the sides. So that's not that big of a deal, but probably should have capped that first. Oh, well. So I got both my holes ready for the uh, tubing. All right, so the measurement between frame rails and where I want to be with this rear plate here, so I can replicate that for the bumper, uh, is about five and a half inches. Uh, the plate is about five and a half inches from uh, my new frame rails. But I need to weld in a quarter of an inch thick end cap for my, uh, for my frame rails. So I'm just calculating for that. So I'm gonna subtract a quarter of an inch from that whole equation. So instead of five and a half, it's five and a quarter. So we need two pieces of tubing at five and a quarter inch long. So I've got my end caps kind of tacked on place there with my uh, my bumper tubes. That's what I'm going to be calling them. They just kind of stick through the sheet metal. I mean, like, shit, dude, I'm stoked on that. That's like a perfect replication of this. I'm really liking this. I'm, I'm very satisfied with the whole way this thing is set up. I'm, I'm going to run this, I think. I think this is going to be what we continue with right now. Do you need to make some caps for these? I also need to finish my welds on them. Uh, that's important, that's up next. Before I start working on the front of the frame, I want to make sure that I have the rear end of it taken care of and that um, I'd, I'd actually really like to kind of be able to pull this thing out of this base. Uh, I got some stuff coming for the ram. I got some like wheels, lift and tire and stuff like that coming for the ram. So I need to install the lift soon, which means that I'll need this bay at kind of a reasonable time. And I'm also going to need it for the 73 soon as well. All right, now we got to start getting serious. This is, this is the important stuff. I'm going to finish doing all my welds here. 
Uh, so around my end cap, around my tube, then around the outside here and around this uh, sheet metal as well. So I'm gonna finish my welds here. Then I'm gonna go down the rail, finish the well, uh, welds up there as well. Then we gotta start mounting stuff to the body so I can get this whole thing and be like rigid in one piece. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and lock in the frame rails. I mean, it's kind of hard to picture because I got all this crap in here and the floors have really taken a beating. I mean, look at that, dude. Those are some frame rails. Those are some fuck, I built that shit. Me? Lil old dude Dan built frame rails for this car and they're kind of nice. I like them. I'm very happy with them. We're, we're cooking. We are cooking. I don't know what we're cooking, but we're cooking something. All right, it's a different day, and uh, I got a new camera lens because I've been fighting technology hard fucking core every day since I started this shop. I've had to replace my camera, I've had to replace my lenses. Yeah, I've had two lenses shit the bed on me. I had to completely repair the camera that you guys are watching from, and that little one is the only thing keeping my channel alive. But this new lens, I decided to invest in some like actual glass, and it's a zoom lens. So I can zoom in, you know, you guys can really zoom in there and see my weld, look at that, ooh. Ooh, that bad boy. Oh man, that one looks really good. That one on top needs to be redone, but that one down there looks really good. Be a test to see if the whole fucking car falls apart on itself. Nice. That much? Yep. This is the place to hold it. That's all I need.
It's a new day and I have a haircut. You wanna fight about it? So, so I have that one tacked in place. I'm gonna work on this in a second. Obviously Dooley's here. Before we do that, I wanna do, I wanna test something out. You guys were really helpful in the comments about the glow plug thing, which I don't think is the issue with this truck, but I'm gonna entertain ideas. So this thing has like a weird cold start delay where I have to cycle my key a bunch before it'll turn over, but y'all are saying it might be the glow plugs. But from my understanding, Newer trucks don't really care about the glow plugs thing. I think it's like it'll continue to crank, but some people are saying that there might be a like a shut off between like a, the starter solenoid and like a delay for the glow plugs anyway. I don't remember, and I don't remember this truck having that. It's a lot of information I just threw at you guys. I gotta turn the key from a cold start and it won't uh, crank. That's what's going on with it. And then I'm gonna try to cold start it and I'm gonna turn it back off, cycle it, give it a second, and then try it again. So, all right, key's in. All right, so there's my glow plug and it's gone. Glow plug's already gone. Started right up. I don't think it's that. Don't think it's that at all, to be honest. I have one more thing I have to do before I continue with this video. I have a bunch of banners here that I'm gonna hang up on this wall right here. A bunch of these LED lights that all kind of connect together and will illuminate every fucking banner that are on the wall. All right, so this is all I have done so far because of my patience. Mostly because I have to continue to move stuff and I really need to get some work done on the Mustang. I've been been really fucking off this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a pause on this and finish this at the end of the video, but I will finish this. I need to do some work on the Mustang. Um, I am gonna, I'm gonna leave the lights on for right now because like they do brighten up, they, God, they bright, this brightens up this corner a good bit. And I like this a lot too. Like I like the way this is all, the way it looks. This is a little funky because uh, the way the piping is, it like comes off the wall. So I had to like put a really big gap there, not as big of a gap there, but I think I can probably fit one of the smaller banners in that space. Maybe uh, maybe one of the fast banners that are a little bit smaller. Or you know what, this MSD one. But now it's time to go back to the Mustang. All right, so where did we leave off? Um, I've tacked in place my, my passenger side frame rail that this is gonna go kind of Go, go, go. Gonna go straight out here, uh, but I need to match it up on the other side. I already have the piece cut. You guys saw that previously, just a minute ago. So I need to go match it up with this side over there. Problem is, I'm having some clearance issues on that side because the metal is like, the, the firewall is like kind of cockered out. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of do some more cutting <laughs> and uh, cut out the, a little bit more of that firewall so I can have a little bit more clearance.
All right. That is, uh, that's pretty damn perfect. Damn near perfect. Pretty stoked about that. Uh, it's like 35 inches here, 35 inches there between those two points. And it's also the same distance here and there between the floors, so very square. That being said, I think this is where I'm gonna stop doing work for the afternoon here, and I'll tell you. There's a couple of different things I'm gonna start working on in my next video. One of the things I'm gonna work on, I believe, is setting the front suspension. Uh, making sure that the strut towers are absolutely right now the way they stand they're they're level and straight square ready to go uh, But you know, that's that's gonna be next video. So who knows? So I'll come back and double check when uh, I'm ready to do it But that's the next step uh, probably basically just cut off this this these square pieces on the sides and bottom here and just leave this part hovering and then uh, Kind of build my strut tower supports around it same thing over here cut all that crap around it off on the sides Just still having this top part welded in place. So it's not going nowhere <clears throat> build the sides up to it and then weld my own plate on the top of it and then drop that one out because I think I'd like to have my struts just a fraction of an inch higher because that'll give me a little bit more low in the front. I mean, not really. I can adjust that with preload anyway when it comes time to it, but that's a, that's a different video. And I do need to mount the body a little bit better to the car as well. I'll probably put the roll hoop in first, tack some spots to it, you know, here and there, make little brackets where it attaches to the body, and then go from there, and you guys will see why in the next video. Now, there will be a Mustang video coming out after this, like pretty shortly after this, where I basically just go down over everything that I plan on doing to the car. Because I have some cool ideas, some cool designs that I want to run over you guys uh, with the car with a bunch of different ideas that I'm going to definitely stick with, but I want you to like draw them out first so you guys can visualize them. So that way, uh, when it comes time, you guys will be ready for it and super stoked and you guys will be like, oh, fuck yeah. God, this is going to be the coolest Mustang ever, right? Probably won't go over details such as like, like what wheels I'm going to be running or my offset or what color paint. I, I don't know. I'm, I still have a couple ideas. General idea of the design and the geometry and which direction this car is going to be going will be coming out in the next video about the car and then we'll pick back up on working so and if you're saying to yourself dan uh we work with a company or a business and like we would love to see our stuff in your shop tools or parts or whatever you want to help like or if you want to help fund some build stuff like that you know please feel free to reach out to me it's in my email i do ask that you guys don't spam my email if you're not doing anything business related it's, it's strictly a business email i won't respond to uh, anybody that's anything other than business just because if you guys want to get in contact with me or talk to me or post and stuff like that instagram's a place to do it d-i-w-d underscore official mm -hmm.